because we say, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu. Two names for God. Hashem is God, Elokeinu is the God of creation. So it sounds like there's God who doesn't get involved in creation. And then there's Elokeinu, Elokeinu, is the God of creation. So of course it's the same God, but this God is divided. There's a part of him engages in creation, and there's a part of him that does not. So listen to this. Does God have an arm? The answer is yes. The Torah says he has an arm. In fact, when he stretches out his arm, the ocean splits. Right, that's an arm. So the question is, if, if God has an arm and it's called Yad, why do we refer to our arm with the same word in the Torah? Yad Hashem, Yad HaOdom. Isn't that confusing? The answer is, our arm is a bit of an example. It's a muscle. It gives us a little insight into what God's arm really is. But his is real. Ours is the copy. We are, so when you read in the Torah, God's arm, God's eye, God's anger, you say, no, come on, come on, come on. God doesn't have an arm. No, he does. Really? Yeah. Literally? Uh-huh. He has a real arm? Yep. You mean like mine? Uh, no. <laughs> Did you miss the word real? <laughs> His is real. The Abish that has a real arm. If Taita says the Abish is arm, then he has an arm. Don't turn the Taita into a into a fairy tale. The Abish that has an arm. A real arm. A literal arm. Mamish an arm. God says. I am God, but I need you to be me. In order for me to be me, I need you. That's vulnerable. So the first words in the Ten Commandments, I am God, you're God. Did you ever figure out what that's saying? I'm God, you're God. Why don't you just say, I'm your God? And in general, what are you telling me? I am God. Nice to meet you. What is that, an introduction? What, what, what is the, it's the first commandment. If you read it properly and translate it properly, I, God, am yours. Anoichi Hashem, I, God, Elekecha, am yours. And that's why I took you out of Egypt. So what is he saying? I am God, and you think that I'm perfect and need nothing. No. To be God, I need you. So the punishment of the Holocaust, what sin does that match? There is no such sin. Jews did not go out to murder millions of people. So the Holocaust was not a punishment. The reason we go to hell when we die is because we want to be with our friends. <laughs> if you go to heaven, who are you going to talk to? <laughs> you know, Christians, Christians are afraid of hell. So first of all, first of all, what is Gehenna? What is it? 
Oh, what it is, you burn. Like a like a barbecue. <laughs> you roast on a fire on the where, what are we talking about here? On the Shama? <laughs> You're in the Shama goes to hell and burns. How are you burning the Shama? <laughs> Bendigo a los rabinos, rabino Yaron Reuben, rabino Efraim Cachlón, los líderes del grupo, con la ayuda del Todopoderoso, que el Eterno los bendiga, que el Creador los proteja, que el Altísimo los guíe, que el Santo, bendito sea, los ilumine, que su sabiduría ilumine a otros, que sus enseñanzas perduren por generaciones.